Hi there! Thank you so much for coming by my pottery shop here in San Antonio, Florida. We call it San Antonio Pottery. My name is Jack Boyle. I am your San Antonio Potter. Just a little short drive from Tampa Bay area. Actually about half, a, half an hour north of Tampa, right off I-75. Come and visit. Today I'm going to show you how to make a soup train. That involves making a large 8 pound bowl for the bottom. And about a 3 and a quarter pound bowl. It's a very shallow bowl. For the top, which is made upside down, and then you'll see it's turned over, <coughs> trimmed, and I throw the knob on it, trim the bottom, put the handles on. But in the meanwhile, we're going to go visit a friend of mine, Michelle Genuvis. She lives up in Spring Lake, Florida, still well within the Tampa Bay area. We're going to visit her home studio, and you'll see just how beautiful she is, and her work is just incredible. So stick with me, and we'll be right to it. We are in the home and studio of Michelle Genuvis here in Spring Lake, Florida. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Jack. How are you doing today? Good. Well, you know, we're here so we can look at some of your beautiful uh, ceramic artwork and you can talk to us a little bit about your technique and your materials while I pan around and look at some of your work Great. in your home studio and gallery here. Thank you. I like to work large and I like to coil pots these days and uh, I make tables with tile tops that are sort of uh, reminiscent or uh, inspired by cypress trees along the Withlacoochee River. It's very organic looking. It is. And, um, and then they, I, I sort of like them to spiral up and then I create these tile tops that are very colorful and I think a of them as of that. mandalas or mandalas I guess is how they pronounce. Beautiful and work. Um, I've done lamps, I've done bird baths, and um, I've also, I mean the insides of these pots are amazing, and so I'm trying to figure out how to bring the inside out. So on this one I put a glass top and gilded the inside, which wow. is 24 karat gold. That's so beautiful. That um, is kind of neat. I used to work on the wheel, I had a whole line of production work I did, um, that was fun, but couldn't get big enough. I uh, didn't have the skill to get large that I can do with coils. Oh, these are incredible. And uh, then I used to do a lot of slab work when I worked in New York City and I was in architecture and there were all these bridges and beautiful buildings. and You're Inspired by, so your, by your surroundings. I'm, surrounded, I'm inspired by my environment. That's yes. exactly it. So. Cool. Uh, let me ask you another question. Uh, if, if a person was to come up and visit you, would you recommend a restaurant in the area? I would. We live uh, about a mile and a half from Papa Joe's, which is a privately owned uh, Italian restaurant that's been in business, I think, since the 80s. And it's great Italian food, and it's right at the intersection of Route 50 and Spring Lake Highway.
my father and the parking lot on the way in saw this girl with the most beautiful legs I'd ever seen San Antonio Potter. There was a great interview with Michelle. She's a great lady. Makes some beautiful artwork. You should make an appointment. Give her a call or email and get out there and purchase some of her beautiful sculptural pottery. It's great outdoor. It's really like bird baths or tables and things. Nice stuff. So, thank you so much for joining us. You can find more artists that are up for visits to their studio at our www.artistfinder.info. Uh, do that. Make contact. Make a little day trip out of it, but enjoy yourself and enjoy the area that we live in. Bye.